everyone, it's Michelle from Noble Touch, and today we are going to do a patriotic pinwheel flower. Now this is a design, um, the pinwheel design or the pointed petal is a Dean Michael design petal. And then we're also going to use a fuse method uh, used by Julie's Wreath Boutique. She came up with this um, neat way to cut the mesh. As well as um, one of our members in our Wreath Creators and More Facebook group. This is a group that is owned by me and Julie's Wreath Boutique. Um, she came up with using a windmill for the center. So her name was Vicki Starcher, and it was such a cute idea. And I came across this windmill, and I thought, okay, I'm going to try this. So I'm going to do a patriotic version of it. Um, this you can get, I'll put, post the link. It's on Amazon. You can also get these at Dollar General. I seen some uh, red, white, and blue ones there just uh, yesterday. And you're going to need... We're going to use one roll of the navy with silver threading. And then, of course, I have the red and white foil um, mesh that I used in my other patriotic flag flower. And then you're going to need a foam disc. This is just one you get from the dollar store. It's just a thin fold, uh, foam disc. And I'm going to use this cotton cord on this as well. Then the raised 10 inch uh, wreath frames. So this is going to, going to be my second time using this type of frame, um, but we're going to do it a little different. And then you also need a plastic campus grid and a ruler. If you have one, uh, preferably a metal one, this is plastic, but I got it from the dollar store. So <laughs> if I have to replace it, I got to replace it and then zip ties. So, um, what we're going to do here, though, because of the raised uh, wreath frame, instead of setting the circle disc um, canvas grid in the center, I'm actually going to flip this over and trace this first, or I should say the second rung right here. I'm just going to tra trace around it here. like that. And then we're going to cut that out and attach it to the top portion. So this is going to be left alone and we're going to attach it to the top portion. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and attach it with some zip ties and we'll be back. Okay, so we went ahead, cut that out, attached it on the top. Um, so it'd be basically the second rung because the middle one's down below and uh, attached it right there to the top with some zip ties. Now we're going to go ahead and start work on our center disc. So I just have my cord and my glue gun. And then I'm just going to glue that there. And then I'm going to take a floral pin and push down on an angle. Well, that didn't really work, did it? I need to go a little bit more. Just to hold that in so it's secure. And this is super simple. So you just um, are going to glue and just do a spiral effect around. Until you cover the whole disc. So we're just going to finish that and we'll be back. Okay so the center is um, completed like that. Now what we're going to do because this is going to be different than my usual um, attachment of the centers just because we're going to be doing a completely different um, petal. So what you can do is take a pipe cleaner, lay it on the back and then just push through I'm actually probably going to hit it with some glue. Some of my floral pins get some glue on them. And go in on an angle. I don't know what I'm hitting. 
go in on an angle like that. I think I was hitting the other floral pin in there. Just push through like that. Don't bring yourself like I just did. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set that aside. Um, that way we can attach it through the grid uh, when it's all said and done. Now, what you're going to need is your wood burner. Now, typically we use the stencil tip to cut our deco mesh. Um, we are going to use, I don't know if you can see this, kind of the wide blade. We're going to use this for cutting the um, deco mesh. So let me just pull this out for a second. So now this is what is so cool about this uh, fuse method from Julie's Wreath Boutique. So we're going to cut our mesh at 10 inches. I'm just going to use this. Hold this down. So we find our 10 inch. Even with this, I, I'm going to go ahead and follow the grid line. Now this has foil, so sometimes the foil doesn't cut as nice. But Well, that time it did. Uh, but just try to pull apart as you cut. So now, once you have your 10 inch cut of mesh, I have glue all over my fingertips. Anyway, once you have your 10 inch cut of mesh, you see the um, sides that are sewed, those sides, you want to take and keep that sewn side sewed side oh my word keep that sewn side on the right hand side and then you're going to just bring it and make a triangle like this and this is where your ruler is going to come in and you just line this up to the tip like that now i'm just using these buttons over here if you phone set it on there to help hold that down and you're just going to cut both pieces together see like that and that will fuse these pieces so you're going to get two basically petals out of one 10 inch cut cut of mesh oh my gosh that's like a tongue <laughs> it's a tongue twister so you are going to get two cuts um, or two flower petals out of one cut of 10 inch mesh there that I could knew I could do it so we're going to go ahead and and cut up our roll of mesh and we're going to do the same with the the deco mesh now this worked a little bit better because it has the foil in it so it's a little bit of a heavier um, mesh and um, I will come back to show you the deco mesh um, when we cut the navy so We'll be back. Okay, so just like the other mesh, now this is our thinner deco mesh that we're using. So we want to cut it at the 10 inch mark. Also, make sure if you're um, using the wood burner to have a glass piece underneath your cutting, um, you know, over your cutting mat so you don't melt your mat, as well as uh, wear a mask when you're cutting because you are cutting plastic. So you just want to follow the grid line. Now, this is why I like the stencil tip because I totally just hopped the grid line here. But I'm doing the fuse method with it. So it's kind of a big, bulkier tip to use on, on this deco mesh. But we will use it. Okay, again, remember you see the sewed side. So you want it over on the right. So when you do your triangle, that sew side is going to be over here. And just line this up as best you can. This is not poly burlap, so it's going to move around just a little bit more. And then hold your ruler down. There you go. So these are your pieces like that.
Okay, so I finished cutting up some of the mesh, not all of it, because I'm not sure how much I'm going to use, so I'm going to cut as I go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of your triangle pieces, and the part where it's fused, this is where you cut it, you're just going to take this and proceed to scrunch like that. And then you have your, your pinwheel shape pointed pedal. So then you're just going to take a zip tie and on here we're just going to start at the bottom um, rung and you're going to, well, let's see, you know me, I just love my zip ties, not really. Uh, okay, so you're going to go ahead and push this through the bottom like that. and then secure down with your zip tie. And these are just four inch zip ties I'm using right here. So just like that. And I'm so mad I can't find my other little handy red scissors I always use. So your first one's going to go like that. Now we're going to go ahead and do the navy and then just scrunch like that. And then we're going to attach it next to it, slightly over it, just like that. Like I said, you know how I love these zip ties. So then again, we're going to alternate with the red and white. Again, you just pinch the base so you get your, your petal shape here. And you can kind of adjust, like if this is sticking out too far, just kind of adjust it a little bit. Like that. And then we're going to attach, and we're just going to alternate all, all the way around uh, the base. I will let you know how many uh, we use when we come back. Okay, welcome back. So we've got the bottom layer done. I'm loving how it's looking. Uh, what's great about this is, even though this looks like a lot of mesh, this is only 10 cuts of each color of mesh right here so far on the frame. So 10 inch of the, you know, 10, 10 inch of these cut in half, of course. So two petals make, you know, one piece of 10 inch mesh. So there are five, five sections here, and each section has four colors, or four of each color. So you have four of the blue and four of the red and white. So um, now we're going to go ahead and go to this second rung right here. And let's see, we started off with the red first. So we're going to go ahead and grab the navy. And then just take our piece and bunch, scrunch it up at the bottom here so we get that fold. And then we're going to lay it on this over the, the red, like that. Actually, I'm gonna start it here after the bar here, so I know I'm going to do the navy, navy red, navy red. I want that there. Well, now I'm trying to cut. 
cut the. And then we're going to go ahead and take the red and white, scrunch the bottom to get our fold. You might want to cup it a little bit. And then we'll, of course, put it here and complete our way around. I will let you know how much is in this section um, as well when we're all said and done. Okay, so we just finished that second layer. We did um, six in each section. So um, that would be what, 15, right? Three in each, 15 of each color. Um, I will have all this math for you in the bottom of the description under the video when I'm all said and done. Um, so it also, when I hook these in, I, I tuck the tails underneath because this frame is deep, so it gives us, you know, it fills in like that. And of course, I will put a backing on it when it's all said and done. I typically use a, um, a poster board, foam board. It's a thick foam, and I will attach it to the back. So. so, for our next layer, our top layer, we're not going to um, attach here. We're actually going, going to come in onto the grid. So, we will take... Over here, where the fuse section is again, and do our petal and then bring it over. And I think I'm going to go, let's see, we want to keep it about this far in because when I set the center down, I want to cover all the um, zip ties with that center. So I think about right there. Is pretty good and then of course we're just alternating until we get around and I'll let you know how much um, how many petals we do for for this inner section so we'll be right back okay so we completed our center petals um, we just did eight a piece total for the top so, oh, you guys, I'm loving how this is looking. So now for our center, we're just going to bring our center and put it here on top. Now you can just leave it with this center. Um, if you would like, you can add stars on top to the center. I'm just pushing this through the grid right now. And pulling that down. And just securing, you know, kind of just wrapping it around itself for right now. But I will secure it probably a little bit better uh, for the video, maybe even around the bars here. Like that. And you can just leave the center just as it is. You can add stars to it. Um, like I said, I'm going to put the um, windmill on it. Probably going to glue a little bit as well as attach with the wire and pull it through. So um, once it's all said and done, I'm going to just take a picture of it and, and you'll see it here at the beginning and end of the video. But I think I'm going to love this. So thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I will have more forthcoming. Also, big thank you to Dean Michael in Design and Julie's Wreath Boutique for coming up with this pedal and Julie with the Fuse Method. Um, also, the mesh. Um, I didn't even use a complete roll. Look at that. I still have that much roll left on the red and the navy. So this saves a ton of mesh doing this method. And it's flat enough, it could fit in between um, the doors. So this is a really a cute, cute wreath and I'm loving it. Also, uh, the mesh, Mel's Crafty Mojo. I will have links under the description of the tutorial um, with everything where you can get all the supplies. So thank you so much again for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this and you have a great day.